Hi there. Um, so it's been a bit of an interesting um, couple of days. It's crazy how I kind of get onto this roller coaster sometimes, and people kind of are amazed sometimes at how you know I seem to kind of get on with my life, and, or not get on with my life, but just seem cheery and cheeky, and we'll be watching a TV show, and I'll you know be my normal self and they'll just be like, wow, you know, you're, you know, so chirpy, so cheeky. But I know there's a part of me that it's like, well, we'll see what happens tonight and we'll see what happens tomorrow. And lo and behold, I, something triggers something and I spend an entire afternoon just bawling my eyes out. And, you know, Dale will ask me, you know, what are you thinking about? What's wrong? And it's like, I don't know. I just keep crying keep crying, crying, crying and just, you know, I tried to very, very slowly been packing down, um, just packing away some of Chloe's things, um, <laughs> mostly because the chest of drawers that were full of her stuff, um, I can put my clothes back into now that I'm very, very slowly starting to get back into my old clothes. <clears throat> Most of which I can't fit into, but some of them, um, slowly, but, slowly but surely. I mean, the other day, I, I, you know, I thought that actually her, I thought her clothes had all gone to Dale's parents' house for storage and just so they're out of the way, I guess, and they were all there, all of her clothes. I'd gotten all the right sizes, all the right types, all gender, you know, gender neutral, which was actually really difficult, it took a lot of time to search and find the right ones and I just started throwing stuff. I just, I go into this rage of just, is everything right? I did everything right and I feel like a complete idiot for having, you know, worked so hard at researching all the best things, you know. We got a bassinet and it was the right thing for her because, you know, they need to be in your room for the first couple of months for SIDS and I bought a tummy tub because I wanted it to be a really perfect way for her to transition from, you know, the womb to the real world and to be able to use this great little therapeutic little unit and just all this stuff that I researched so much for and I feel like a complete fool. I mean, I did in that moment, I felt like a fool and, you know, but I was doing what I was supposed to do, what any mother was going to, you know, mother-to-be is going to do is going to find the best product that's going to work for the family, for the, you know, that you can afford, that, you know, I didn't buy golden crust or anything, I just bought what I thought was the best thing for her, for us. It's hard. I mean, it's hard. Um... You know, some days I kind of feel like, oh, you know, I can get, I can do this. Like, you know, just walking around and, you know, you know, pfft, this is doable. And then I just hit this black hole and I just feel like I want the world to swallow me up. Um, those are getting a little less, just a little bit. Um, and it does feel good to just wail and just cry and cry. I mean, it rips you apart. It is hard and I'm I'm not talking anyway. So I also wanted to just with I had a <laughs> I had everything, of course. Um I had the works when I was in the hospital. Um I had an episiotomy, epidural sees emergency cesarean so I've had to care for a hematoma that can come from having an episiotomy and being on blood thinners and I guess maybe because I was in bed for such a long time so twice a day for 10 minutes I have salt baths to help heal the hematoma and just keep it clean it's a disgusting thing no one wants it and I Part of me thinks I can't wait to get rid of it, to feel normal, to be able to sit properly, to sit comfortably without being in pain, to walk comfortably without being in pain. Um, but I was reminded, like, I'm seeing a psychologist, of course, because it's the only healthy thing to do in my mind. Um, she suggested that perhaps when that goes, that'll be the last pain, last physical pain 
that it could potentially be a loss in itself. Like that's over. You know, when the milk ran, when I, you know, I had a tablet to stop the milk at one stage because it was kind of we'd made, I'd, we'd had to come to a conclusion and a decision about Chloe. And so I took a tablet to stop the, the milk and then stopped all stimulation and everything. And yeah, that was really traumatic because, I mean, my boobs had <laughs> inflated somewhat. And then when they deflated, that was, I was tragic, you know, people were looking on the bright side of it and I'm just like, this is just, it's just another thing I've lost, another reminder that I've had a loss and it's horrible. <clears throat> but I was recommended to try some things, so I'm using, I um, pardon the half empty bottle, bio oil, so I use that on my chest, my tummy and um, my Caesar scar. Um, I have noticed that it's my skin. I'm doing that in combination, I guess. Nat naturally, my 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 body has bounced back somewhat. Exercise, I think, has helped. I just do kind of just random bits of walking. I think the bio oil is working. It smells pretty good too. It feels nice that I'm actually doing something for my body as well. Like every every time I have a bath, I use the bio oil, and it makes me feel good that I'm doing something good for my skin because it's just, you know, it's ballooned and then shrunk. It's, you know, you need to look after it. Um, and I'm also using these tablets. They are vitamin E, so they're little oil tablets. I just showed the, that to Anyway, <laughs> and anyway, so I get, this is kind of, I hope it's not been completely disgusting and unsterile because that would be bad. I pop a hole in this and then just drizzle it over the scar and then massage it in. I actually, um, originally I was quite, um, really not wanting to touch the scar, my Caesar scar at all. I found it really creepy and just, just an area I wanted to leave. Like I see, I have the, the doctors at the hospital um, check me out every week. So I know that the scar is healing. I've been having a salt bath, so I knew that it was under control. I just didn't want to really touch it and everything. But now I'm using that and just little by little, I'm getting a little bit more daring, not daring, just, you know, I'm actually, you know, working in the, the oil. Um, and because the, of course, the, the nerves have been disrupted and they need to kind of repair themselves, um, I'm making a little bit more of a point of giving the area um, nothing too firm at all, but a bit of a massage just to encourage that um, nerve feedback. Um, so, yeah. I do want to say that I had this whilst I was pregnant. Where are we? There. Yeah. So it's just this moisturizing stick that I got from Body Shop. It's a bit minky and gross and half of it comes out and the, the lid and everything. Um, I didn't like it. It had to be kind of warmed. Um, like I'd have to warm it on me. It wasn't just, I would actually next time if I was getting that, I probably wouldn't actually get that at all. I'd go, I'd go buy oil because they say during pregnancy apply twice daily from the start of the second trimester. I would just actually be bathing myself in this stuff. I wouldn't be bothered about that stick at all. Um, I thought it was a waste of time. I, it wasn't more convenient it was it would crumble and it would take a little bit of time to warm up enough to actually kind of start moisturizing my, my myself maybe that's because I was pregnant during winter but to be honest it shouldn't be <laughs> season specific um, but yeah, the bio oil and the vitamin E, they're both, they were both recommended to me. The, the vitamin E tablet was recommended by my OB, so I take all of her recommendations and just do it. Um, they'd be my two kind of favorite, well, my two things that I'm actually doing now to 